Okay, hello, my name is Sang-Yan This work has been jointly done by Sun Ming Huang and In So Kwon. Today I'm going to talk about Stirnet, uh, one of the strongest multi-scale detector. Let's get started. Uh, since the introduction of deep learning, a lot of convolutional neural network-based object detectors have been proposed so far. And those detectors can be divided in two streams, one stage detector and two stage detectors shown in the figure. And as you can see in this figure, SSD style one stage detectors are very simple in their design and it's very fast, which have great potential of real time and low end devices. However, there is one critical problem compared to two stage detectors. In fact, at CPPR 2017, Hong et al. conducted a very extensive analysis on one stage detector and two stage detector. This is one of the graph from his paper and showing that SSD style models typically have poor performance on small objects while it is very competitive with faster CNN on large objects. So in order to tackle this issue, there have been lots of works proposed. This figure shows the methods that were proposed at the time of paper submission, which gives fine results. However, we found that some of their architecture were too heavy, means parameter inefficient, or, and some of them were unable to train end to end and some of them were not uh, real-time. This motivated us to propose a simple yet effective architecture called Stirnet. Our key idea is a top-down semantic aggregation. Since the semantic level is very different across the depth of CNN, there is a problem in detecting small objects using directly a lower layer of SSD. So we augment the path from the top to bottom utilizing strong semantic of top layer. We use deconvolution layer for upsampling and one by one convolution layer for lateral connection. And if you take a look at the dotted box, you can get more clear understanding about this design. Given an input tensor X, we forward it to two branch, one for encoder decoder style conv layers and the other for one by one convolution layer. As encoder decoder exponentially increases the receptive field, the output includes global information in the other hand, one by one network connection encodes relatively local information of the tensor. And those are merged to build enhanced features, which contains both an accurate localization queues and global information. And this kind of skip connection is nested in our models. And finally, enhanced features are used for prediction. We then slide it, uh, slide a unified classifier on top of it. So in order to see the effectiveness of our method more thoroughly, we have printed out the intermediate features. Given an input image, we printed out an output of encoder-decoder features and network connection features and the combined one. So we confirmed that global information comes from encoder-decoder part, while local information comes from network connection, and those are combined to build rich features. And considering this, our sterner method in embeds nice fusion mechanism within, within the network. Finally, you can see that both of large object and small object are become, becomes more confident based on this mechanism. And this is our result on benchmark data set VOC 2007 and VOC 2012. As you can see in this figure, we have performed the baseline SSD and also the SSD method, which relies on heavy backbone network and note that even the SSD uses a similar architecture to ours, encoder-decoder, their performance is, is lower than ours and it's not end-to-end -end trainable while, while ours is. To see our method, how it performs well in terms of object scales, we also conducted scale-aware evaluation. We observed that our method significantly improves the small object detection about 8%. Then we compare inference time of our method with state-of-the-art one stage detectors and found that our method not only performs well, but also do not lose the real time performance. So finally, this figure shows qualitative results of our method. You can see that our method is robust to small, truncated and overlapped objects. To sum up, we propose a steering net, a simple and powerful one stage detector, and we have solved the small sized object detection effectively. Finally, we pushed the boundary of state of dark accuracy without losing the real-time performance. So this is the end of the slide. If you have any questions in my work, you can just find me at the poster session. Thank you for listening.